Hey guys, happy Saturday. It's Hitman23, and I am coming on to support my friend and uh, card immunity brother, John Wade Boggs fan. Um, congratulations, John, on your 2000th, 2000th subscriber. We have to enunciate, right? Um, job well done, dude. Can't believe 2000, man. That's amazing. Um, great accomplishment. Um, John is doing a uh, contest um, for the 2,000 um, subscribers that he has earned. And he wants us to come on and tell us or tell, you know, our story about YouTube and how it's made us um, enjoy, our, you know, enjoy the hobby more. So what I did was I watched John's video up until the start where he started talking about his. And I didn't want to watch his because... I didn't want to be swayed to like say stuff, um, but I will go back and watch his after. But I have a feeling, m my gut instinct, and I've got plenty of that, is um, I think most of the um, the responses are going to be fairly similar. I think there's going to be similar themes throughout the the the, um, the responses, and um, I'm I'm excited to hear all of them. Um, so for me. Um, coming on YouTube and deciding to make uh, videos about collecting sports cards, which I absolutely love. I love collecting sports cards. It's the greatest hobby, bar none. Um, I've been doing it for a long time, and it's just part of me, and I really enjoy it. It, it lets me escape from the, the real world, everyday um, situations, and uh, just, just love it. So... I believe it was 2016 or two. I I, can't, I think I'm I think I'm going to be celebrating my eighth year this year. So I think so. It's 2016. I decided to start making YouTube videos after you know I was watching others make their videos. And at that time, in 2016, I was really watching. Um, I was watching Ray from Philly a lot. I was watching um, Nate. You know, those are the first channels. Pepino Man. Um, sports and geekery. I was watching a lot. They don't really do do a lot anymore, but I did watch a lot of their videos when they were doing them. Um, so those are like the first channels I was really starting to, you know, to watch and be like, wow, man, this looks really cool. Um, looks like fun. Um, is it something I think I could do myself? And I decided to do it. And I think it was October of 2016 that I made my first video and I haven't looked back. Um, first and foremost, I think the best part of it is the camaraderie it has built and the connections it has made in the hobby and in life. Um, I've met some amazing people doing this. Um, YouTube has definitely opened my world. Um, it has allowed me and I think pretty much everybody else to um, not collect in obscurity or solitude. Um, it gives us the avenue to talk about our collections our loves um, our passions and just opens the door for so many things so the connections by far is the uh, the number one thing for me um, getting to go to different places you know and 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 um, you know I a few years ago I just you know I just thought about it you know I was in North Carolina visiting a friend and I knew that big D Big D, Scott, lived in the same town of Raleigh. And I, I looked, you know, I reached out to him and I said, hey, dude, let's get together. And we did. And it was a great time. We had lunch. And so there it was like just, you know, those little types of things where you could be somewhere in the country and know a YouTuber lives there and reach out and get together with them. Right. That's one example. Um, meeting people at shows, get, getting to shows um, outside of the area I live in. Um, you know, going to Fort Lauderdale and Palm Beach and meeting Orlando and going to those shows or him coming to my house and going to shows here. Um, he's done that once. Um, the National. Um, I will be attending my third National this year and I am looking so forward to it. It's getting closer, guys. I know, um, you know, we're already uh, May the 4th be with you. We're already at May 4th. So we got about another, what, uh 10 weeks ish to get there so it's coming fast so that getting to shows and you know 
um, meeting with other YouTubers and um, not only just enjoying the show itself and walking the floor and sharing pickups and talking about cards, but getting to know people in their real lives as well, outside of collecting, which I think is awesome. So that is definitely a huge one for me. Um, next one is, you know, opening my mind to other things, um, opening my mind to other parts of the hobby and expanding my collection. Um, I can tell you that my collection has exponentially grown since I've started YouTube. And that is definitely not, I am not complaining about that at all. Um, I've added some really cool things to my collection. It's made me think about how I collect and what I collect. Um, it's, um, and I use this term in a positive way, influence, because I'm not I'm not a follower of influencers. Um, I don't care for influencers that much. I don't really follow those channels, but I get influenced by other collectors. Um, and you know, the, the names are boundless and endless. Um, it could be, you know, somebody shows a card that just looks cool and you know, it'll inspire me to wanna look into that or themes and other things, right? So definitely that's a huge, you know, a huge piece uh, to it. And um, also getting, you know, little texts from other YouTubers saying, hey, Mike, check this out. I just saw it on eBay. And then I literally click on the text. I go and see what it is and then literally buy the card at that second. So you guys are letting me spend my money, you know, making me spend my money. Personal choice. I'm not being forced to. But it's great because, you know, that is an awesome awesome part um what else oh i have to get up here guys and walk to the to the oven because i've got a i've got a pizza in there and i gotta take it out before it burns so there we go um so that's a big part of it um i'm gonna put the camera down get my glove see my clone trooper glove May the 4th be with you. If I didn't say it before, I'm going to say it again. It's uh, National Star Wars Day. And uh, there we go. So, you know, expanding the collection that way, being influenced to spend money. <laughs> and uh, which, I, like I said, I don't mind. Um, all makes it part of the whole package. Um, seeing things, um, even things that I may not want to purchase or... Not that I don't want to purchase or that I, I can't purchase at this time or or what have you. Um, just seeing cool things and enjoying them, um, even if I'm ever going to get them. Um, I, can, I can share in the enjoyment of the content creator who is showing those cards, who's gracious enough to come on and show what they've got. So there's just so many positives to it. Um, and uh, that's what I get out of it. I, get the po I take the positives from it. And, uh, and roll with it. So that's where I am. Um, I think, uh, I don't think there's really anything else. Um, really, I think I've kind of said how, uh, how it is for me. Um, I do want to show one card, you know, this, this is baseball card or it's just, you know, a sports card related uh, channel. So I would definitely like to show one card. It's a card I picked up, I think, oh God, this is about a week or two ago now as I've, I've had it. It's part of my 1975 um, All-Star set registry. And it's none other than the beautiful Johnny Bench. So I'm getting close to completing the 75 run of the All-Stars. I think I need five more cards. I think I need five more. I think I need Reggie Jackson, Hank Aaron, Pete Rose, Joe Morgan, and... Dick Allen. I think those are the five cards I need. So, um, fun little project. Beautiful, great cards. And uh, as soon as I'm done, I will do a tabletop for you guys. So, there's the beautiful 1975 Topps Johnny Bench. And that's it, guys. Um, if you don't know, um, I was on the latest episode of Two Guys, um, One Hobby, um, which will be airing tomorrow at 9 o'clock. I was on Wednesday night with um, Don and John. They were gracious enough to invite me to come on, and I had a great time with them discussing my collection and, 
and all that good stuff. So check it out tomorrow on the uh, uh, Two Guys One Hobby channel, nine o'clock in the morning on Sunday. And uh, we would really appreciate that. And um, I appreciate everyone out there who watches my um, watches my channel and comments on my channel. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys from there. And may the cardboard gods continually shine down upon each and every one of you. Thank you, John. Much appreciated, sir. Um, and congratulations on 2,000 subs, brother. I will catch you guys at the next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.